Hello everyone, welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today I'm going to talk about the most important topic. How do I learn automation framework? I know many of you have asked yourself this question. You have been doing functional testing and you want to step into automation. You have tried courses, maybe watched tutorials, but still something feels missing. You still feel stuck. So today, Let's talk about the exact ways you can start learning automation, even if you are starting completely from scratch. In my view, there are two ways to learn anything, not just automation, but anything in life. Path 1. Start with the basics. You go step by step, learn the theory, understand how things are built, how they fit together, just like when you go to a swimming class and the trainer explains the pool depth, hand movements, leg kicks, all before you even jump in. This approach works, but it's slow. And if you are a working professional with limited time after your job, honestly, this path often feels impossible. That's why I believe in part two, jump straight into the practical. Now I don't mean dive into the deep ocean without knowing how to swim. No, I mean step into the shallow end, the place you feel comfortable. Think about swimming. You move your hands, you move your legs. At first, you might fail, you'll splash, you'll sink a little, but you'll burn calories. And guess what? That was your goal anyway. You started learning. Automation works the same way. If you jump straight into the practical, you won't master everything on day one, but you will learn something, even if it's 0.5% or 1% each time. And that's progress. That's how growth happens. So how do you do this in automation? Step one, pick a tool and language. You can pick any tool, any language to start with. The easiest way is to start with whatever your team or company is already using. If your automation team uses Selenium with Java and TestNG, start there. Step 2. Don't overcomplicate. Don't download a huge complex framework full of advanced integrations. Instead, just set up a basic project by your own. Something as simple as running a login test in a browser, that's enough. You can watch tutorials to see how to set up a basic project and then how to create your own test. Step 3. Run your test. Debug it. Watch how the execution flows line by line. Understand how the test actually runs in the browser before moving to the next steps. Once you have the understanding that how your project is working, what are the meaning of different steps, what are the meaning of different libraries? Then only you should move to the next steps. Step 4. Slowly add components. Once you have the framework available, which is capable of running your test, then slowly add different components into that framework, like logging, reporting, parameterization, and more one by one. Each addition will make your framework stronger. And before you even realize it, you will have built a framework by yourself, something you actually understand because you grew it step by step. That might not be the ideal framework following all the standard and guidelines, but that's okay. You have built something, some framework, which is capable of running your test. Once you are done with that, that helped you to learn the basic of how to set up a framework and how to run your test. After that, you are all good to move to the next level. So here's the truth. You don't need months of theory to start. You just need the courage to begin. Jump into the shallow pool, splash around and learn by doing. Every little step you take in automation brings you closer to mastery. So start today. Don't wait. And if you need any help, ask questions, leave a comment. I'll be happy to guide you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.